everyone. Well, here's some facts that the news media do not bother to tell you about the officer that killed George Floyd. I'll, they'll never tell you this. If I have my medicine bag on and my hair down is what they left out is that he had previously killed a Native American. Oh, what's that? Oh, that doesn't matter to you? Oh, I see, because she's like, mm, everyone matters. Uh, but on my account, oh, please, please, is somebody that's Native American and black? Oh, please, don't. You know, don't bother to go out and support the Native American community because, you know, like, hey, we don't matter, right? We don't matter to you. Because we're sovereign in our own country. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh now you feel bad because all the powwows were canceled? And we can't get out there and do our healing dances for the world? Jingle dances, fancy ribbon dance, fancy shawl dance, the men's fancy bustle dance, um, all the shamanistic dances and drum playing and all the beautiful healing that Native Americans bring for other people because we don't see what other people have Blindly followed. Blindly followed. I'm going to give you some facts on this. Oh, and please, while you're at it, on YouTube, I'm going to link David J. Harris Jr. either up here or in the description box. Now, I will do the same thing for Instagram because this is a man of truth. And he doesn't see color. I don't see color. And he and I are like-minded. But that same officer would not have been on the street to commit this crime against another nationality if he had been prosecuted for killing a Native American, but the Democrat didn't care. Let him off. Oh, it's just a Native American. You kidding me? Y'all are blind. All life matters. And I've been trying to tell you this. You're all a bunch of blind puppets. If you realize in history, if you realize in history how much Native Americans did for the colonists, were raped, pillaged, and taken in and killed, taken into slavery, by, oh, you celebrate Columbus Day. I do not. You celebrate Thanksgiving. I don't really care for it. To me, it's just another day. Why? Native Americans were killed. But does that matter to you? No, you have this guilt thinking there's this, oh, there's this oppression, and I have to, it's shameful. It's really freaking shameful that you let the leftist control you. You let the leftist control you. 
Do you understand me? You're letting the leftists control you, but you didn't do your history on this police officer. Former police officer, might I say. That now he's being prosecuted, or will be being prosecuted, for killing a black person. But he wasn't prosecuted for killing a Native American? You tell me, where does that make sense? Where does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? Doesn't make any sense to me. In fact, our hair was long sought after by the colonists. Why? Look at, look at that hair. Look at that hair. Native Americans never scalped the colonists. It was the other way around. Okay, I'm working on Instagram time here. But y'all make me sick. You're not doing your history, you're not fact-checking, you're not doing nothing but cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. Following the narrative agenda of the leftist. George Soros. That evil thing, George Soros, is funding these attacks on the city. He funded that. Oh, but you're just too blind not to realize this has happened in the past. In Ferguson, when George Soros was connected to funding that, uh, that destruction. And like I said, you're all blind. You're not doing any research. Nobody needs your pity party. You want to do something for somebody? For Christ's sake, stop being the blind puppet. Stop being the blind puppet for the leftist. But did that Native American mean anything to you? Probably not. Because to me, it just looks like you're all crying and, oh, I got to panic because this is my nationality and this is what we did to their... <sighs> In Africa, they sold their own people. It's in the history books. Did you skip that? It's shameful. It's really shameful to have to say this to all of you out there following the fake agenda, you're all following it. Oh my God, you had to do this. You're not helping anybody. Let, let me quote David J. Harris Jr. You're not helping black people in the black community by posting Blackout Tuesday. You're not helping with shit. Oh, don't think that you have to run out and buy a Pendleton Woolen Mills blanket in a Native American pattern. Oh, by the way, I used to live in Pendleton, where the Woolen Mill is. I've been inside the Woolen Mill. Um, I've seen how all the wool is processed. Awesome. It's expensive, but it doesn't go to the tribes. Mm. 
No. It does not go to the mission reservation that has three tribes on it in which I was honored my medicine bag from. Uh, their healer. Um, the Umatilla, the Cayuse, and the Walla Walla. You're going to be like, the huh? Oh, you're uneducated on Native America? And on Native American names? Tillamook isn't just a cheese. It's a tribal name. So is Umqua. That's not just an ice cream. It's a tribe name. And they come from Oregon. The state of Oregon. Which, by the way, a lot of you got this twisted backwards and you don't even know where that state is. Okay, you have Washington State and California right between those two states. Oregon. Yeah. Oh, did you miss that? A lot of you don't even know where Oregon State is, and that's horrible. None of you paid attention in school, obviously, because you're too busy being like Princess Poofy Pants. And I'm just going to put it like that. You're all busy being Princess Poofy Pants and not paying no freaking attention. Oh, you want to do historical this? And then I saw, like, a post about hair. Okay. And then I asked a person, well, what about Native American hairstyles? And they said, oh, well, they didn't do any history on that. God. And that they would have needed somebody to reference. And I'm like, well, you can reference me. For that, and I will teach you Native American hairstyles. And they said, No, thank you. We'll do it ourselves. But how are you going to know? And first of all, you shouldn't even be wearing no Native American hairstyles if you're not Native American. Snap. How about that? Oh, and another thing that we get tired of hearing. Oh, well, I'm 118th Native American, and then don't say it. Don't say it, because y'all can never think of another tribe except for Cherokee. <laughs> Can't say, you cannot seem to pick anything other than Cherokee. For some reason, a few people can pick out Chotsa. You can't pick out something like Lenape or Agadagan. A Native American was killed by this police officer long before George Floyd. But hey, don't go out of your way to purchase from our shops because we don't matter to you. And you know why? Because hashtag all life matters. It's not just black and white. It's all life. And if you can't see that all life matters, you need to hope that your soul can be saved. And on that, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because y'all freaking need that right now.